guys, it's Lori. Welcome to my weekly what's on Wednesday, number 13, uh, for January 6th through January 12th, 2021. Um, getting down into the month. And um, if you find yourself asking, what is that sound? It is one of three things. One, it is my stomach, which is making loads of sounds, digesting my food, uh, which sometimes happens with this diet. Two, it is this squeaky chair I'm sitting in. I'm in my craft room tonight. Or three, it is poor Lucy the cat who is in heat and making awful noises all day and all night long. So it usually lasts for about three days. So I think we're going on day two. So in case you hear some noises, I do have a tiny co-host tonight back here. Toby, you want to say hi? <laughs> uh, he's in need of a haircut so but he is my tiny co-host for tonight uh let's get started what am i working on well i'm still working on where the fun never ends but i am getting close Ooh, will you get that uh magnet i dropped them right there there's daniella <laughs> Uh, she's never too far away. Um, but here is kind of what I have left. Let's see where the diamonds begin. Where are they? There they are. So yeah. Uh, getting closer. Will you roll that? All right. Also, um, I am finished with my Alice in a Winter Wonderland piece and the Books and Diamonds piece that I did. Um, I've actually finished it and I have already went ahead and done uh, something very, very cool with it, which I alluded to on Instagram today. Um, but I am going to add it to my scrapbook of diamond paintings. Look at that sparkle, I'm telling you. This pe these these diamonds were so sparkly, but look, I used these gorgeous trims that I found in my scrapbooks items, and I'm trying to use up some of this stuff I've had forever, and I just love the way he looks, and I'm gonna I still have not purchased a scrapbook album for these, but um, when I do, I'll show you a flip through of what I've already put in. I am considering some of my other 30 by 40s and 30 by 30s that I bought canvases for to put on this wall behind me. You see this long blank wall. Um, I was gonna fill that with all different sizes of diamond paintings fit on canvases, but now I'm starting to think that I love it so much that I'm gonna put these smaller snack size paintings in, an, in albums. And I'm gonna save my wall space for like my diamond art clubs, my craftablies, uh, my dreamers designs, those type of paintings and things. Um, Cause I'm gonna run out of space. So, and my husband has already said, these are not going all through the house. We'll see. <laughs> uh, all right, so I finished that. I'm working on the other one. What's next? Well. If you watched on Monday, you saw me do an unboxing of a Dreamer design. It will be my third Dreamer design. But in case you didn't watch, it is Van Gogh's Grumpy Cat. Um, I cannot find this one on their website. But they do have two other Van Goghs in stock if you're interested in that. Um type painting. I think there's Corgi Nights and the um, Golden Great Bridge. So, uh, still have some opportunity for if you want to do Starry Night. I think it's going to be confetti heady. I'm heavy. Uh, I'm excited. And three bags. Three bags of white ABs. Plus two other color ABs. There's three ABs, but three bags of white. White is my favorite. Which brings me to what did I order this week? And I had I had thought I wasn't going to order anything all through January. But I have never ordered from uh, 
uh, oh my goodness, Tima, the sparklers. And I didn't order sparklers. I thought they were just all sparklers, but I went back and looked. Um, I ordered black ABs and white ABs, so I'm going to have to order again because I do want to try sparklers. And so I may, I may message some of my friends that I know are really into the, uh, the sparklers and glow glass and all that stuff and maybe see if they have some recommendations for me. Um, or you can put them in the comments below, like what sparkler should I try first? You know, what would be a good one that I could just add anywhere that's not specifically for a certain painting? So yeah, that could be one thing that you share with me. Um, what other craft did I get into this week? Well, not much. I didn't do any beading, and but I did start coloring, and it is very little. I started coloring the Maui Mermaid, and I love her. So, but, and I look forward, hopefully ne next week I'll have her finished. But she's so beautiful. I can't wait to finish that. That's really all I did on the other crafts. I've really been into diamond painting this week. Um, okay, what am I reading? I finally picked up a book to start in 2021. And no, I am not continuing Sullivan's Island yet that I read at the beach with my sister. I'm just, I don't know. It's just not what I'm wanting right now. So I am reading Debbie Maycomber, Any Dream Will Do. And I really, really like what I have read so far. Uh, it's about a young girl who ends up going to prison uh, for helping her brother out of a bad situation and getting caught, going to prison. And then it follows her through... Um, getting out and, and feeling like she has nowhere to go and how, uh, she ends up in a church and things just start to go from there. So I'm excited to, to work on that one. So, all right. What did I watch? Oh my goodness. If you are a, I'm a Bravo fan. You know that I have on my, uh, Countess Luann, be cool, don't be all like uncool shirt, <laughs> but below deck. Oh my gosh. Captain Lee. I don't want to make him angry. I would never go swimming after dark now off his yacht or anything to make him mad. He is very scary mad, but oh my goodness. That was crazy. Uh, Dallas Housewives premiered. I, I'm excited. I love them. I love Stephanie. Uh, she's one, probably my favorite on there. So, um, I'm excited for that one to get started because I can't stand Salt Lake City. Oh, yuck. I just don't like it. Do you all like it? Do you watch it? Let me know in the comments. Let me know I'm not alone or tell me what you like about it. Maybe I just don't see it. But yuck. But you know I'm going to watch every episode. I've been there from the very beginning of when the OC episode one came out. So I watched them all. Um, I also really like the, the, um, TV show and I believe it's on ABC. I could be wrong, but it's on one of those ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox channels, and it's called Call Me Cat. And it stars Mayim Bullock, Bialik, which is of course, um, from Big Bang Theory and, you know, I'm 46. So she's, was, she's blossomed to me. So, <laughs> but I love it. She is this fun girl who owns a cat cafe and she kind of like, what is it? Breaks the, is it the fourth? Is it the fourth wall? Yes. Okay. Fourth wall and talks to the audience. And so I like shows like that and she's just so fun. Um, I really like that one. So I've already watched both episodes. Highly recommend. I'm still binge watching Golden Girls. I found that that's my nighttime routine now an episode of Golden Girls and off to bed. So, uh, I'm on season two, uh, with our, uh, daily lunch show, One Tree Hill. We're in season five now and which is after they've graduated. And so we kind of was like, uh, are we going to like this? Are we not? It's not as good as when they were in high school, but I'm keep, like keep on keeping on. Danielle says she doesn't like it, but I don't know. 
But right now, my main thoughts are I want to punch Lucas in the face. And I need a little more Dan for some reason. I, I know I love to hate him. So, but anyway. All right. And also, I did just finish week five of my diet. So, what did I weigh? What did I lose, I guess, would be better. Uh, I lost 2.8 pounds this week. And which was a total of 23.2 pounds. And that that's in five weeks. And so I'm already excited about week six. So I'm hoping to reach my 25 pounds. That is where I set my first reward to myself. And um, it's going to be something. I like to try new things. I like to, I don't know, especially self-care things. They're, that's fun. But um it's float therapy and you kind of go and you're in this pod type thing. Um, and all it's like sensory deprivation also because there's no sound, there's no light, nothing. You float in just like, I think it's like 12 inches. I could be wrong of like really dense salt water that like keeps you, it keeps you really floating. And you do that for like an hour and it is supposed to be so wonderful for your brain. And my brain could use all the help that it can get. <laughs> so, all right. So that I want so that's coming up. That's what 1.8 pounds away. So, and I'm going to take you guys along with me, of course. Yeah, we're going to vlog that. So, all right. And what is my family up to? Well, let's see. Michaela is training a, what kind of dog is it? I have no idea. Um, oh, a, uh, it's a border collie that is trained farm dog to herd cattle. And so she is working with that dog. It was supposed to be my husband's. He came home, Mika and that dog looked at each other, fell in love, and it will only listen to her. So, um, she's doing that. She got all excited, made flyers to train dogs with this dog. And, um, she's also setting up a breeding service. And, like, my mother-in-law actually is bringing her dog, which is a golden retriever, to breed with the Border Collie because they're supposed to make really, really, really nice dogs. I don't know anything about that, but between this breeding of the dogs and <laughs> Lucy running around in heat, it's been a weird week. So, uh, but that's what Michaela's up to. She's, she's all in right now. Um, Daniela has been doing some makeup tutorials. Um, she had some little stars across her face today, some emo. She is loving TikTok and making her TikTok and she's, I think she started out with like, she was had like 20 followers. And after she started posting more regularly, she's up into the 200s. So she's very excited. So, but yeah, that's, that's Poppy's butt. <laughs> so she, uh, all right. Um, let's see. Oh, and Emily, my other daughter, she's playing magic. She went to a tea room this week. She played indoor glow-in-the-dark mini golf. Uh, she's been having fun. I'm so excited that she's been talking about meal prep and things like that because she, like me, she needs to take a few pounds off. And so I'm, I'm really excited about her starting to talk about that because I think she's going to feel so much better because I know I feel way better with this weight off. And last but not least, Ron, he did go get the, the dog that ended up being... Michaela's dog and uh <laughs> and I think also this next week he goes and gets his second dose of his COVID vaccine so uh if you if you will keep that and keep him in your prayers for that because you know so the first one was fine he had no no reactions maybe a little rash I think he might said but um so but he did really good with it um didn't feel sick at all or anything so all right, and the last thing I want to share with you is what 
is my little giveaway. I you you probably read in the beginning I'm doing a little giveaway. Well, today, Wednesday, January 13th is National Sticker Day. Woo! We all love stickers. So, I've got an envelope filled with stickers and I'm going to give it away to somebody who comments below. So be sure and do that. And um, I will announce the winner uh, next week on my weekly Watts. How about that? So, <laughs> or maybe with my next unboxing. So we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, but more than likely on my, probably on my weekly Watts. That way you all know what's coming. So be sure and comment so I can give those away to you and be sure and celebrate sticker day. This year for Christmas Eve, we did a, I think I told you all we did a special thing where, um, I bought like two packs of stickers on, uh, Amazon and for Christmas Eve, we spread them all out on a table after putting on our Christmas PJs and the girls took turns picking. And so at the end, they had a zip, a Ziploc bag filled with fun stickers. So, uh, I'm hoping to recreate that at Easter too, because they loved it and they've stuck them everywhere and we just all enjoy them. So, but anyway, well, that is all for my weekly what's this week. So be sure and say hi in the comments. Um, tell me what you've done this week. What are you looking forward to, to next week? Um, just say hi. Uh, comment about something that I discussed during my week. Ask me any questions. <laughs> Whatever. Just be sure and comment so you can be in the drawing to get this cute little envelope full of fun stickers. So, well, I, get, I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. I have another unboxing coming next week, so be on the lookout for that. And I hope you have a great day, great week, and I hope you get to do a little diamond painting. Bye.